And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, about to start the second half. And the obvious thing has happened. The players have changed ends. The goalkeepers are in position. Uh, <coughs> Village is now on the southern end. And uh, Jason Smith is... Sorry, Village, Village is on the northern end. And uh, Jason Smith uh, for Southampton Rangers is on the southern end, closest to the road. Ezekiel. And there goes the whistle. Francis, referee Francis has started. Ball goes to Parent Chief who drives the ball down to Burgess and uh, Village take possession. A little contention there and Tacky I Walker finds his right back and the ball is swept up the field but into touch by <coughs> Rangers. And Village will take over. Oh, sorry, and uh, Rangers will take over. Parent Chief number 23 finds a striker, but being equal to the task is the Shields. And the ball swept back to Burgess, and Burgess is going to look to go up the field, and he does so down the side. It's a wonderful ball in the passing lane. Keyshawn Smith is moving down right inside the field. He tries to save it, and unfortunately, the footing gave way, and uh, the ball runs into touch. And as a result, uh, there will be a goal kick with the possession going to... Southampton Rangers. Balls being placed by Jason Smith. He will start this game with a long driving kick. And play a sky in the middle of the park, Keyshan. And number 17 pushes the ball for Keyshan Smith, who tries to find Walker, and Walker's gotten the battle of it. Goes in the middle of the park, but swept away by number 22 of Rangers. And as a result, Burgess will get this ball, and he flights the ball high in the air, looping over the top of the defensive line of Southampton Rangers. And Jason Smith will allow this ball to roll a little bit to the right-hand side, collects it, draws down the, the attacker, Jason Lee, and... Uh, Lee returns back into the park, and Jason Smith drives this ball. Well met by the midfielder. And again, equal to the task. Number 27 is taking the ball to the far side of the field for South Indian Rangers. He continues his dribble. He's drawing a crowd. Drops the ball off. Swept inside early, and Burgess dug, leaves his feet. Diving header to clear. There's an attack. And number... Village gets the better of this, and there's going to be a passing attempt to find the passing lane, and the ball is being allowed to run clear through to Jason Smith. Well done, who starts the ball out on the right-hand side. Finds parent chief, and Village has gotten, oh, and parent chief got the better of that. And there's an attempt again, but Village crowd him early. And unfortunately, the ball was allowed to run free. And ball's been swept into a dangerous position. Gennaro has left his feet. And there's an attempt to clear. And there is an attempt to clear. And they found number eight in the middle of the park for Village, Dimitri. And he sweeps it on the far side. And Jerome Bailey attempts to evade his man, does so. But the ball runs over the line on the far side of the field. And Southampton Rangers will get the benefit of restarting this match in the village half. And incidentally, there is an update on uh, who may have scored the goal. I think uh, in the first half, it, it looked like uh, Thomas Brown, who was moved from his defensive position, according to uh, talk around here, and was able to knock that ball in for the benefit of the Southampton Rangers one nothing score over Village at this particular time. Keep it out! Excuse me. And here we go again. The attack of Southampton Rangers on the far side of the field. Balls being placed for a free kick. Ready? 
And Perrin Chief repositions the ball. He's looking to go over the wall. He does so and into possession of and then the ball was attempted to be cleared and the ball has left the pavilion. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the stadium grounds. <laughs> Over the fence and down into the residential area. We now have a ball in the hands of a Rangers player who's looking to restart the match and while he's doing that there's movement on the field by both teams jockeying for position and the ball is finally thrown headed down and then an attempt to clear and there's a foul yes uh, it looked like a foul ladies and gentlemen and it's not to the benefit of North Village they're gonna have to continue to defend their position they're in the final uh, third and uh, well below the line of the uh, 18 yard but on the far right hand side of the field Ball is being retrieved and about to be placed at around the 12-yard line, but outside the 18. Well, as a matter of fact, they're bringing it above the 18. And yes, just above the 18, but on the far right inside the field. This is an opportunity for a shot, ladies and gentlemen. The ground is very, very loose. Slippery, and they're shot, it ensues, and it's in the back. It's in the back of the net. <laughs> and the score has moved now to two nothing in favor of the Southampton Rangers, ladies and gentlemen. And they're over there congratulating Gennaro Tucker. After two bounces, the shot wasn't looking very threatening at all. But there was movement by the Southampton Rangers team to actually get to the ball, which was going towards the near post of uh, Troy Hall. And it bounced once, bounced twice. T Tucker used his swivel on a dime and was able to strike the ball cleanly. The recovering defenders of uh, Village didn't have a chance there. And as a result, they have to now do something special to get this game back in their favor by scoring at least one goal in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Southampton Rangers has the ball deep in their half. Ball thrown to Parent Chief and Parent Chief sweeps the ball high. And it's a wonderful inside out play and this is all almost worked out well and threw into a passing lane and as a result, the, the Shields is going to get this, but momentarily stopped. And Burgess pushes this ball too long and all the way down to Jason Smith. There is some thought about who might have scored this goal. Uh, we may find that out in a later scenario. But, uh, ooh, number seven moving tw forward very nicely. Number 27, he's still on the dribble, tries to find a pass, cut out. And Village have been re released Lee, and Lee has drawn attention to number 22, and the support has finally come for Lee. Number eight is looking to dribble, and he's, ooh, oh, all the way on top of his head, a wonderful <laughs> a rollover. And... Wonderful step in by Lee. That's very nice. Oh, and then he swept the ball away, and it's going to be now. And Jerome Bailey now for Village has pushed the ball in the middle of the park and upsteps Burgess. And Burgess is looking to pass interiorly. Couldn't find his man. And the ball now has been knocked to the right-hand side where Jason Davis will take the throw. Number six finds Burgess. Burgess is going to go inside. Inside out play and back to the thrower of Jason Davis. Jason Davis, he loses man. Plays back to number four and he finds Davis again, and they're working well together. They found Tacky I Walker. It's down to Davis, going baseline, and he's offside without a doubt. Without a doubt.
and Thomas Brown, I think, is looking to place this ball, number 11. And also, there is seemingly movement on the side of the field where a substitute is going to be made by Village. And Dimitri is off, and number seven is in. Ralph Bean, the player coach. Ralph Bean has come in to try to see if he can assist this team to actually break this deadlock in terms of score. They need to do so as soon as possible. And it looks like there's better movement here. And this sort of relieves Burgess from having to actually move forward and play that attacking role. And Burgess can just look to clean up from the defensive point of view, if that's the strategy. Um, let's hope it works out in Village's favor. There's a throw in right now where Tacky I Walker is looking to restart play. He's looking for movement. He does find the movement. He's found. Get down with Jason! Interesting. Jason Lee ran, ran the right route, found the ball baseline, tried to actually find his man. And who smothered that out? With that cross, uh, from that cross is Jason Smith, and he starts to play for his team. And Burgess steps up defensively and finds himself with the ball again. And he's looking to move forward. He drops the ball off to Taki I Walker, who sweeps the ball in early. He's found Keyshan Bean. And who's he found? Ralph Bean. Ralph Bean lays it off. This ball's in the box. And my, 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 ladies and gentlemen, should have been a better, better opportunity for Pierre Smith to put that ball, I think, uh, if it was him, on target. Uh, that was not a very convincing approach. Especially when you're two goals down and uh, you need to find the net every time and make the goalkeeper do his, his part of the game, which is keep it out. And that was not good at all. He basically was not being pressured that much, um, but obviously not on his best foot. And the left-footed left shot went high over the top of the goal. Well done by Jason Davis. Bean attempts to dummy. They'll play possession, ladies and gentlemen. Number 12 is now in, in cut this ball. And, and it's in the middle of the park. And oh, yes, number 23 has been brought to his knees. Keep it out! Number 23, Cayman Tucker, was taken out. And uh, parent, parent Chief will actually restart this, number 20. And there's another substitution coming in. Jerron Dickinson is coming in, <coughs> number 70. And out, go, out goes Lee. He's done what he can for the day and hasn't worked out. Oh, my, my. And Village defend that by allowing the ball to run into touch. Troy Hall places the ball. He's going to go long, does so, up to the half. Player Sky, and it seems to bounce in the possession of. Oh, and this is wonderful play. And Burgess is going to have to do something, and he does. He back heels the ball, which allows his players to actually recover. And there's a knockdown into the covers there, and the ball is just dispatched into touch by the defense of. Southampton Rangers. Jerron Dickinson's first touch, slides it in. Wonderful spin. The dribble across the middle of the park. It goes all the way to the far side and up, up steps uh, Jason Davis, who's dribbling. Number six, he's trying to find a passing lane. He does, but it is cut out by Thomas Brown. And Jerome, gonna have to be astute. Oh my, didn't, it's a good hole by Burgess. Wonderful step in by number 17. And Mr. Seymour did well to get the ball back. Looked for a passing lane by, uh, to get himself in the passing lane, but his teammates did not find him. Thomas Brown steps into that one as the ball's come down from the goalkeeper's big kick. And Takiyai Walker has robbed him. He should find a passing lane. And now there is definitely a foul on Takiyai, number 12. 
has been a judge to have fouled. That's Mikhail Tankard. He's having a super game as well. He's a solid defender. And they brought a crowd to Tacky I Walker before he could actually get away. But unfortunately, he was fouled. Ball started short. And Tacky I's on this and being this. And he's tried to sweep the ball in early. And uh, he's lost out. And away comes the defense of this. Oh my, giveaway directly towards Keyshawn Bean. He's going to cross and find the passing lane. And number four stepped up. And this could be trouble. No. Oh, it's still in the possession of Village. Keyshawn Bean is going to go baseline. McCall's looking to rob him. And there's a cross. And here should be. It's a flick in. Here should be. Oh. Oh, oh my. Just over the head of Jerron Dickerson. Just overhead, had he made a touch, the keeper was right there aligned with it, with, with where the ball was coming, and uh, must credit. Oh. And Village get the benefit of that. Ball goes inside to Rakeem, and Rakeem looks to sweep to the other side, but he was blindsided there, and up steps number 27, who will knock this ball into touch. Number 27 of the... Yeah, Anthony Rocker, who swept the ball into touch as a result. Oh, my, and the ball has gone outside of the pavilion again, uh, outside the stadium again. And another ball is over there, and a foul was a judge in that scenario. And they started short. Number four steps into this. And the ball swept in early, and, but definitely not in the right direction. Jason Smith is looking, <clears throat> he's looking, he sweeps the ball. It's not the best of kick, but he's found his man. And the handball on number 12. <clears throat> Markel Tankard. And Village get the ball back very, very quickly here. And to their delight of that, because they're looking to do something with their score of zero at this particular time. And on the ball is Tacky I Walker, who's asking for his yardage. Number 29 is asked to be dressing back, and that's Jakai Dyer. And up steps Tacky I Walker, and he's looking. The ball has been blown slightly, and here we go. Ball still moving slightly, ladies and gentlemen. The wind is there, and a delivery is made. Up, ooh, and it's a corner, definitely defended by Parent Chief, who basically stuck his head in there. He did not want to let the ball drop at all in there, and astutely so, and rightly so. <clears throat> he didn't know what was going to happen if he allowed that, so he headed it forcefully over the top of the bar, into touch and Village have won themselves a corner as a result of that defensive decision. And uh, Ralph Bean, coach, player, Ralph Bean is going over to take this number seven, and he will initiate what will be hopefully something that will benefit the Rams, the North Village Rams. And here it comes. Swept in, it's over the first defender, and oh! My, my, my. It's swirling, it's swirling, and they finally get it clear, and finally out, and only to number 13. And the Shields will look to try to beat his first man. He does so, he's gonna look for a pass. He's found the passing lane. They're all standing there, and that's a handball! There's, there's a handball, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a handball, I saw that here. Yeah, team, uh, yes, and that was rightly so. Coach Ralph Bean is asking his players to step off while uh, Rangers query this particular decision with the refereeing. There may have been some aggressive... Uh, Verbology to the water referee, referee Francis um, 
is maybe, I think a red card has been issued. And as a result, uh, we're waiting for the player to leave the field. And it's number, who is it? They're, subs they're, they're, they're sacrificing the goalkeeper, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Smith is removing his gloves, ladies and gentlemen, and walking towards the sideline. And the substitute goalkeeper, number one, Corey. Corey Richardson, the substitution goalkeeper, is there on the side to meet him. And they're going, and he's, Jason Smith, obviously, um, probably did not agree with the call. Got a little animated. And referee Francis took exception to it all and gave him his marching orders. And as a result, uh, we'll see what uh, Corey Richardson can do uh, to the game. The first line of duty, obviously, is going to try to save this particular penalty. A very, very tough, tough order. Uh, he stands his ground. He's stretching. And we're at the 20th minute where Village is attempting to open up their score on this match they're in a two do two nothing deficit and we've got uh Keyshawn smith who's looking and here he comes oh and oh my my ladies and gentlemen Keyshawn smith went to the left of corey corey dropped down and as a result the score remains 2-0 two, two Rangers and they're on the attack and number 17 attempted to actually or Rangers tried to counter by putting the ball towards the goalkeeper and it didn't work out oh oh whoa ladies and gentlemen that 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 was a that's a red card um, no okay yellow card uh, on Tucker, definitely. That's a that's a that's a that's an injury, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to get up very soon, and definitely not. He's rolling around, ladies and gentlemen. North Village player, number 15. You can hear him. You can hear him over here. And with Keyshawn Smith receiving the ball, and it, wow, and Bailey is back into the game, and that's a good thing to see. And as a result, there should be a pass to number four, and the ball should be swept to the right, and Jason Davis has stepped up to collect this, this sweep. Techie I Walker goes baseline. Jason Davis looks to swing it in. And this could, that's an over and back. I thought so, ladies and gentlemen, definitely. Definitely look like over and back here. <clears throat> and the referee assistant spotted it, and as a result, there will be a kick on behalf of the North Village Rams. Burgess is in the middle of the park. He's looking to go around the formation of the defensive formation of the Southampton Rangers. The ball's been struck into a passing lane, and uh, Jason Davis is not doing what the coach was expecting. Coach was looking to get the ball to his chest because he's playing with his back towards goal, and Ralph Bean can do that. He can hold the ball up, and Village have to get on the same page here. Bailey receives his ball after shrugging off his injury. Looks to get a passing lane, a little slow as a result. And a wonderful pass there. Parent Chief is underneath this. And, oh, another sliding tackle by Southampton Rangers. And Village move out of the way. Bean picks up the ball. He's found his man underneath. Ball has now been put out to Bailey. Bailey looks to move down the left-hand side. He's carrying. He's looking to carry. He's going to continue to carry. He's drawn two. And as a result... Get it out of there. An attempt again to provide service is thwarted by the Southampton Rangers. And now the ball's in number four in the middle of the park. Ralph Bean has got this. 
Blocked out, goes to number five, Burgess. Burgess sweeps the ball over here to Davis to the far side, closest to the pavilion. And Jason will look to bring this ball across. Is it an inch? Oh, allowed to be the ball to run and defended with a header by. And this is the, an opportunity. And as a result, Village will move the ball again into a, a threatening position. Found Kishan Bean, and Kishan Bean attempts to sweep the ball into a threatening position, and it's cleared again. On the far side, Tucker will get this. He's found this man, and oh my, 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 an attempt to actually move the ball into the half of North Village, and the wind has gotten underneath that, underneath that and the ball is gone into touch. Play has resumed. Villas are forced way back. Now Jason Davis is looking to move the ball up. He finds Burgess again in the middle of the park. Village take their shape. Put the ball in number four. And it looks like an over and back scenario. Jerron Dickinson has been adjudged to be an offside position. And uh, he's got to be careful with that. No reason for him to be in an offside position. He's playing on the far left-hand side. He can see the line. Number 17, Keyshawn Bean's got the ball in the middle of the park. He's forced from behind and momentarily taken over by Southampton Rangers. Rangers keep the ball and it's wonderfully flicked out and then another ball gone over and out. Number of balls that have been dispatched over the fence today are many, ladies and gentlemen. Another ball has been found. And this, oh, that ball will stay on the pitch and replace the one that has been found. Ball gets thrown in. And the referees ask play to continue. Carl Burgess moves the ball in the middle of the park. He's gonna close the gap. He's been allowed to dribble. Now comes a Rangers player. He pushes the ball outside to the right. Jason Davis, Takei Walker moves up to receive. And it's a little short drop off. And Pierre Smith looks to move things and be, oh, it's tackled from behind. And Jason D Davis moves across to sweep that away. And Southampton Rangers take over in the middle of the park. And definitely it's gonna be a foul there on the village, on, on the uh, Southampton Rangers player. And village has been adjudged to have made that foul. And just on the halfway line to the far right hand side of the field. Parent Chief sweeps the ball, but not far enough. It bounced favorably for the uh, Southampton Rangers, but they've been dispossessed. And Bean comes into the covers there and drops the ball down for Jerome Bailey, who pushes the ball down to Jerron Dickinson. And Dickinson's looking. Well, Dickinson's got it. He's, 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 he's pressing the line the defensive line trying to get an advantage and it's not working out for him. Hopefully, this is the second time in the last five minutes that he's been called. He has to stay an entire body behind to create that space. So the uh, referee assistant has no doubt in her, in her mind that uh, he was in an onside position. But nevertheless, the possession goes to Rangers who sweeps the ball down the left-hand side and uh, they retain possession momentarily and uh, they're going to get a throw. And it's about 30 yards further down the field. Ball's thrown long, it's going down by the corner flag and attempt to flick around. Didn't work out for Southampton Rangers and the ball is now with the goalkeeper, Troy Hall Jr. Burgess is gonna get this one, he has Jason Davis held on the right hand side. They take it short. Jason has time and space. 
He's calling for Tacky Eye Walker. Burgess joins him in the middle of the park, and they're going to go long, or Burgess is going to attempt to go long, but nope. Looked off his player. Attempted to do, do and a wonderful one too has, has ensued, but up steps number 12, who cut that out. And Tacky Eye Walker is going to have to do a defensive duty there, and Burgess is there to also help clean up. The ball struck 40 yards into the air. And Thomas Brown, and Bean is running underneath this, and it's a handball! Another handball, ladies and gentlemen! Another handball on Southampton Rangers. And I don't know, I probably the captain will not take this. Uh, Keyshan being, uh, Ralph being the coach, is looking to get this one. He's definitely stepped forward. And the... The player coach, Ralph Bean, is going to try as he came on... 10 minutes ago as a substitution. He's into the game, he's on the spot. This is going to be, this is, the referee is gonna go over and have a word with the uh, goalkeeper about uh, removing his gloves. Uh, that's not a, a pretty good tactic on his part, but the uh, referee is gonna tell him about that and just give him a, a warning. Referee Francis has done so. And uh, Ralph Bean is 10 yards back, and he steps up. And a beautiful strike on that ball, ladies and gentlemen. Deposits the ball to the right side of, of the uh, replacement goalkeeper, Corey Richardson, and Village have drawn their first blood here with a one going to them. And now they're going to try to see if they can score another one to bring this game back into an even Steven type of situation. Referee Wilson, uh, Francis has blown the whistle to start, and they move forward. Oh, a wonderful play into the covers where Gennaro Tucker has gone. He's, he dummy, faked the dummy. He's got Jerome Bailey over there. And Jerome Bailey. No foul. There's no foul. Oh, there is a foul. Okay. All right. There is a foul almost right on the corner flag. I would say at least uh, three to four yards away from the corner flag. So in, in effect, it's just off the touch line in about three to four yards. In, in effect, it's a corner, and everyone's jostling, and this is going to be trouble. Oh, it's swept in, and cleared finally by Keyshan Bean, and Ralph Bean Jr. is chasing this down with number 22 hot on his back, and an attempt, yes, was, and Village have gotten it back, though, as a result, and as a, as a foul, ladies and gentlemen, Ralph Bean attempted to put his body between that and the ball, and the, the, the player should be warned, ladies and gentlemen, kicking the ball away. Referee Francis needs to be a little bit more consistent there. There's some jostling going on. He's also asking that the wall come back. And that's about right. Yep, that's a good 10 yards there. And Bean's going to flight this ball in just over the line, over the defensive wall, but a head defensive header by the Southampton Rangers, puts the ball directly back in the area that it was came from. Somebody and Bean's gonna have to actually throw this in, and he does so, throws it into a wonderful channel, and kept Tacky Eye Walkers looking to sweep this ball early, and well met defensively, and Jason Davis, no. Huh? I, yeah, I got what he really called, but I didn't agree with that at all. But anyway, I'm not got the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Southampton Rangers have gotten the ball as a free kick position right in the middle of the park. Up steps Thomas Brown. He's looking to assess how he's going to deliver this ball. This number 15, he steps forward, drives it to the far right. It's met defensively 
and Village have the benefit, and it's swept over the top, and that's not going to work. They need to hold the ball up once they win it, find the farthest man forward, and Bean is definitely playing with his back towards goal, giving them a target, but they're playing the ball over him, and therefore the possession goes right back to Southampton Rangers. Oh, well brought down. It's a dribble to the far, this side. And he, he hopped up, ladies and gentlemen. He, my, my, my. He hopped up to avoid, vo to avoid the tackle. A substitution is about to happen, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Southampton Rangers. Or oh, no, it isn't a substitution. Yeah, number 15, and Thomas Brown is about to take the kick. And uh, the referee is coming to talk to the coach of the, who's left to be coach of the uh, Caldeal, I think it is, that they're saying, or the, who's a, assisting coach of North Village. Referee Francis just had a word with him because the referee assistant had flagged for an attention relative to some verb, ver, verbology that would took place here. And Thomas Brown steps up, drives the ball, and this is, this is wonderful. And defend, def, headed defensively by Village. They're looking to move the ball early. And it is moved early, and it goes over to the left. Jerome Bailey is moving down the side. He's got time and space. He rolls the ball into the park where Bean has pushed the ball back to number four. Number four finds number 99, Pierre, and up steps Jason Davis. Davis Smith. Davis is looking to move the ball to the far side. They've drawn a few. And the pass. Oh, finally. Oh, I thought he just dropped it off incorrectly. He found Jerron Dickerson. And Davis is now looking. He goes on the inside. He finds number four. They're going to go into the far side, Briars. And Briars finds Jerome, who's on there looking to find a passing lane. He does find one. He found Bean. Bean with his back towards goal. And they're, be and they're allowed to go on. What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? What, what happened there? Anyway, the flag had gone up for some reason. Um, referee assistant uh, Williams, Wendy Williams, uh, put up the flag and saw an infraction of some type. Sorry. And the village attack was brought to a halt as a result of that. And there's a substitution taking place on the field. Takiai Walker has come out, number 99. And in goes number 18 for North Village. That's uh, Quan Smith. And Smith is in. And let's see what he brings. Game is in the balance for Village. And the ball is allowed to flow through and then finally cleared. And up steps a defender of, of Rangers. And Village have now taken possession. Keyshawn Smith has found a passing lane. And Quan Smith obviously is going to be looking to be running that particular passing lane. We can see what's taking place. He shows a sign of speed there. And Pierre Smith has found this ball. He sent number 20. Number 79, oh, and an attempt, and there's a foul, potential foul on number 12. Um, Jerron Dickinson spun him. Uh, no, they chose, yes, it, yes, referee assist, referee Francis has asked that uh, number 12 put the ball down. Uh, that's Markel Tankard, and uh, there will be a kick in. Thomas Brown goes down deep to the far part of the, the field near the corner flag to actually bring this ball out of the defensive side of Southampton Rangers. The ball's met with a head onto Keyshawn Bean, and Bean has been dispossessed by Tankard, and then swept away all the way down to Jason Davis, and Davis is gonna look to play with his back line, and Burgess is gonna look to sweep the ball to the left, and he's found Jerome Bailey, who has lots of time and space, moves the ball forward. He's looking for a passing lane, and an attempt to drive the ball in has caused a corner. And this, this is a very good thing for Village. If you can remember what happened in the first half when 
the uh, Southampton Rangers was taking corners from this particular position, caused a lot of havoc. The ball does a, does a lot of things as it's going directly into the wind. And if you can get it up and get it over, and this is not the best. And it's not worked out. And out come the Southampton Rangers. And there's three back. And they found Gennaro Chalk on the far right-hand side, number four. He's looking to drive into the box. And he sweeps the ball in early. Oh! Almost found the back of the net as, as uh, Troy Hall Jr. slipped. And this is interesting break on the other side, ladies and gentlemen, where Jerron Dickinson feeds the ball to Coach Bean. Coach Bean goes behind his back. He's going to try to find a pass. Jerron Dickinson is going to go across, his, try to find his man. He's, he's spinning and turning. And a defensive toe boot puts the ball back to Jerome Bailey, who brings the ball back. And over the defensive wall. And this is interesting. Put down for Bean. Bean's going to try to find the back. Oh, my, my. Wonderful, wonderful tackle. Wonderful tackle. But Jerome uh, Davis steps up. And, and Bean's back on this. He should find service. And it's wonderfully knocked out. And the ball is, a, is, is wonderfully swept into touch by number 20. And South, Southampton Rangers is doing everything to deny the pass. And everything you need to do to deny the pass if you do not want a team to score on you. So I credit both number 12, Tankard, and Parent Chief who are doing everything to deny the pass. And the ball's come out. It should be rolled. It isn't. And out come Rangers on the far side. Number 27 is looking to sweep the ball down the side, and they do so. And is it going to go into touch? No. Saved. Come out, come out. Swept over again, and not the right pass, ladies and gentlemen. A little, he little, a little hasty with that, and the ball runs all the way into touch down the other side where the corner was taken earlier. And as a result, the ball will be thrown. My Southampton Rangers deep, almost near the, well, within feet of the uh, corner flag. And that's great. And they try to sweep it away again. And Southampton Rangers retain possession. They were out of their final third. And is it a kick? Yes, it is, I guess. And the ball is swept 30 yards down the field. Met by Tucker as a result. And then he makes sure the ball goes into touch and stopping any further threat. One of Breyer sweeps the ball and it's dropped off and it finally knocked into touch. And the possession switches to Southampton Rangers. And Gennaro Tucker is making its way to the touchline, ladies and gentlemen. He's being substituted due to the physical condition. I think he's reaching at his calves. There's cramping taking place. And uh, number 45 is about to enter the field. That's Janai Hill. On, and out, out comes number four <laughs> as a result. He's done a lot of work today. <laughs> and as a result, his body is telling him enough. <laughs> Sits down, and hopefully what he's done today has helped his team potentially to a win. But the game's not over. And very interesting position. And as a result, the referee has ruled that parent chief was upended, and there will be a free kick on the far side of the field in favor of the Southampton Rangers. Parent Chief steps up. Oh, this is not the best to kick. Briars has got time and space. He's dribbling straight at the He's found Bean. Bean will come across in the middle of the park. He's going to switch the play. Found Burgess in the middle of the park. Burgess will go and complete the link up. And Jason Davis is looking to dribble. And he's, he's, he's going around too. 
He's gonna look to slip it inside. He's found Kijan. And oh, you can credit. You can credit. I think Thomas number 12, I think, or number 22. Punched that ball on the punch it, but swept the ball away from Kishan Bean. And as a result, Village will have to will have a corner and Jerron Dickinson, who can place the ball in wonderful areas, does so and to the back post. Oh my, my, my allowed G. Unfortunately, Pierre Smith, the ball probably was knocked off a target. And as a result, he was not able to get it. And the result will be a goal kick. And uh, Corey Richardson is about to take this goal kick. He strikes it long. And Jason Davis meets it, brings it down. Found Jaron Dickinson. Dickinson looks to move. And he's going to look to cut it in. And he pushes in the passing lane. Ralph Bean is there. And it's swept away with... Authority by the Southampton Rangers defense. Put back into a passing lane, found Kishan Bean. He's found, his, found a little space to turn, but well defended by number 22. Bryce has got this, goes back to the thrower. Jerome Bailey is driven baseline. He's going to go baseline, looking to cross, and it hit off the defender. And this went all the way on top of a roof and away down there into the gully. And there's a nice short kick taken. And Jerome Bailey may have over kicked over. Yeah, yeah, he didn't get enough on this. And they'll have to retake the corner. Here we go. The ball has made it into the box, ladies and gentlemen, but not past the first defender. And as a result, Bailey drives. And up steps, and again blasted against. And out come Rangers. And he's off, he's off, he's off, ladies and gentlemen. He's off, all alone, no defenders. A three on none, and they couldn't get it right. Couldn't figure out how to enter the half, the, the village half. And as a result, the man ran straight offside. Jason Davis is on the passing lane. He's found Ralph Bean. Ralph turns this man, he's being and as a result, he's trying to stay on his feet. He's delivered the ball. And unfortunately for Village, the ball was swept away long and hard with authority by the defensive unit of the Southampton Rangers. And up steps number five, Terrell Bedges. He's going to go long with the throw. A wind assistant. And long into the box. At the six yards. It's knocked on. Oh, and the wind kept it up there. And just over the, 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 def, the defensive line of Southampton Rangers, fortunately. And as a result, Village are going to have to wait until the ball is kicked from the goal area. Corey Richardson places the ball. Bridges, defensive letter causes some problems. And the ball goes all the way back and driven back by Southampton Rangers to the goalkeeper hall. Found Jason Davis. Bean is asking for it at the highest point. And there he goes, running into the passing lane to the right. And unfortunately, just a bit too far. And there's a yellow card being issued by referee Francis on the, the uh, defender who followed the ball into touch and then drove it an additional bit of yardage so that uh, it would cause time wasting. And referee Francis was astute to that. And number I think number 22 might have been the one that received the card. There's a substitution taking place for Southampton Rangers at this time. 
Number 11 is coming out. And that's Ezekiel Stoneham. And replacing him is number nine. Oh, yeah, here he is. Tariq, Tariqo Lowe. Got it. Thank you very much. I have assistants here as well who know their, not, not, you know their competition. <laughs> Village retained the ball with a throw. Oh my! The Shields was able to recover from that, and he's pushed the ball all the all the way. And Bean comes back on side, and there's a ball over the defensive line. And Keyshawn Bean's going to find assistance, and he's going to try to drive, and he does. And a wonderful drive up and down over the defensive line, and but just a bit too high over the uh, crossbar. It wasn't wasn't too far. Maybe by a foot or so. The keeper had to be very, very astute to what was taking place there. And Bean, who was unfortunate at the penalty spot, is trying to make amends. Ball's in the air. Davis brings it down. And unfortunately, didn't get a good bounce. And he's going to have to recover. Number 17 is there. And he finally, and the ball should be thrown. Oh, okay. Well, didn't see it. I heard it up here, ladies and gentlemen. We went off the defender. I mean, off the... Uh, but anyway, it's going to be retained by Southampton Rangers. And up steps number 12. Markel Tanker to take this ball. They're in no rush. They've, they're leading 2-1. to one, And we're in the last possibly five to seven minutes of this particular match. Ball thrown again by Tankard, and they've drawn a crowd, and as a result, the ball again bubbling all over the place, and Village are trying to retain the ball, or trying to win the ball, I'm, I'm sorry. And Tankard steps forward again. He throws the ball towards goal, and as a result, North Village will not get any more chances to try to equalize this score, ladies and gentlemen. The final whistle has gone. Referee Francis brings this match to a close with the score being in the favor of Southampton Rangers, two goals, and North Village will only be able to respond in the second half with their one. And as a result, we have Southampton Rangers taking all the points at this particular match to be put to their ledger, and North Village will have to actually do a rethink as they were not able to do anything in this particular match to better their position. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the players leave the field. The referee and his assistants join and come off the field in the fine fashion that they do. And as a result, as a result, the fans are congratulating each other despite the win-loss scenario that's taking place here between these two teams. And that's what we like to see in this, this game of competition.